Joining me from Pennsylvania is Chris Nallen. He's a senior broadcast meteorologist at AccuWeather. Chris, what are the latest models telling you? Well, certainly we are seeing this storm strengthen as we have been kind of watching this very closely and evolving here as it is moving through the Virgin Island. Now, the deal is with a system like this, we have very warm waters across the Caribbean and the Atlantic. So naturally, as it moves over that open water, it's expected to really strengthen. So Hurricane Dorian currently seeing those winds at 75 miles per hour. So it's a Cat 1 hurricane. We have uh, current pressure at 997 millibars there. And the movement to the northwest here at about 13 miles per hour. But you'd see it's becoming a little bit more organized as we head through time. So the actual impacts of this storm will be, again, four to eight inches of rain, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and remember the spot that it's impacting, at least parts of uh, Puerto Rico, it's an area that saw a lot of devastation from Maria. So this area of the island, especially towards the eastern end, areas have been impacted greatly already in the past. We have hurricane warnings in effect and hurricane watches here. So current radar does show a pretty uh, active plume of energy. You can see shades of green also around the eye that's beginning to be uh, a bit, a bit more visible, if you will, showing those signs here of some of that strengthening. And any, anytime that eye becomes more defined, that means that strengthening is likely. And that's what we're going to be seeing here. The biggest concern for now, though, the current is the actual rainfall, the flooding aspect, and also, of course, the winds as they begin to strengthen. You can see the actual radar of the last 12 hours has certainly been on the high side. We're talking several inches of rain that has moved across the Virgin Islands and now again, eventually moving in towards parts of, say, Puerto Rico. Those impacts, of course, the greatest impacts, of course, the property and lives. We always tell you, heed those warnings. The impacts will be pretty strong across the Virgin Islands and towards eastern Puerto Rico here. So again, localized flooding, damaging winds, the AccuWeather real impact scale there, a one. OK, so we are talking about a pretty impactful storm. Now, you can also see again winds. Obviously, we'll be on the high side up to 80 miles per hour here, gusting up to 80 miles per hour. And again, that's enough to knock down out power and tree lines and tree power lines, I should say, combined. Uh, so that's going to be a concern as we roll forward. Also, the downpours that come on through upwards of eight inches of rain likely in these areas. So again, lots of rain, but this is just the beginning of what's to come. So now it's about the movement. Again, as we roll forward through time, it's going to go over those open waters where we have what we call weak shear. OK, so that kind of keeps everything stable or the storm together and also dry, uh, less dry air, I should say. So all of these areas here, very favorable for more development. Remember, those water temperatures are very warm. So the future goes like this into the day tomorrow. And then, of course, Friday, we're talking about a cat one could be even higher, could strengthen to a cat two. Could we be talking about a category three hurricane impacting the southeast coast? That's what we're looking at right now. And probably the nearest uh, time zone here about early Monday for the southeast coast. But it's not likely here, at least as of right now, where we think it's going to exactly hit. OK, so we have kind of two cones of concern. The upper air here could be moving it a little bit further to the north and east or take it over Florida. So it could be a big stretch here or a wide area uh, of potential impact zone. Very warm body of water. And of course, the Gulf Stream continues to in, uh, bring in all that heavy uh, rain or at least the potential here across Florida. Street flooding is going to be concerned all across the southeast here as we roll into the weekend and then into Monday. So lots to keep an eye on.